Republican Bob Corker running against Democrat Harold Ford Jr. Some nasty ads running in that race, including one talking about Ford at a Playboy party. Ford talked about it on Fox News Sunday this morning. You think the fact that she was a white woman was coincidental? No, I think it was smut. Uh, it, I don't think race had anything to do with that ad. I just think it was an un, uncalled for, despicable, uh, inappropriate ad for children to be watching at 7, 8 o'clock central time with their parents after dinner in the living room. They know it was bad. The party of family values should not have run that in Tennessee. Congressman, or anywhere for that matter. Uh, from Studio B Live to Carl Cameron with Ford's opponent in Nashville, Tennessee. Carl. Hi, Trace. Well, in addition to the exchange this morning on Fox News Sunday and a debate that took place at Vanderbilt University here in Nashville just last night, uh, the two candidates are also mixing it up on some comments that Harold Ford Jr. made over the course of the weekend, talking about faith, God, and Jesus. Uh, we've got a little bit of tape here we're going to roll. Uh, it has caused quite a stir, and Harold Ford Jr. is under fire for it as well. Let's see if we can take a look at first at his comments uh, about which party appreciates the Lord more. My friend Lincoln Davis, who chairs our campaign, says that there are, there's one big difference between us and the fortune of Republicans when it comes to our faith. He said that Republicans fear the Lord. He said Democrats fear and love the Lord. Well, so there you, hear, there you hear Congressman Harold Ford, Jr. of Memphis, saying that uh, Republicans fear the Lord, but Democrats fear and love the Lord, suggesting perhaps to some that Republicans don't love the Lord as much as Democrats. And so now we go to the former mayor of Chattanooga, the Republican U.S. Senate nominee and Ford's opponent. What do you make of that, sir? We've seen a number of uh, characteristics uh, from the congressman ever since the meltdown in Memphis uh, a week ago Friday. And I've, obviously this is not the kind of thing you would expect somebody who's running for the United States Senate to say. It's very offensive, I think, to people of all walks of life, whether you're Republican, Independent, or, Den or, or Democrat, to to be uh, claiming that one group of people love God more than another. And I think that uh, obviously... Uh, uh, this is going to cause a lot of concern around the state of Tennessee about whether he's ready to serve in the United States Senate or not. We need to be bringing people together in this country. We have many, many problems that are complex and need to be solved. And what I've seen uh, so far, I'm just not sure Congressman Ford has the demeanor, if you will, to really serve in the United States Senate. Certainly there's been a lot of press coverage in the last few days about uh, Mr. Ford's behavior on the campaign trail, suggesting that it might have been a sign that he's getting, beginning to get worried that the lead in the polls has now switched to you. Just before we came to this interview, sir, we played a bit of Harold Ford Jr. on Fox News Sunday this morning where he called the recent RNC ad smut. This is the one where a white woman appeared and has now been pulled down. Uh, a certain amount of that redounded against you. Tell us a little bit about how you reacted to it and what then happened. Obviously, I thought the ad was tacky and asked for it to come down. And, and uh, I don't like any of these independent expenditure groups being in our state. I will say that I'm the only one in this race that's asked for those ads to come down. My opponent uh, is running equally tacky ads. Uh, they actually are running a three and a half to one, uh, one ratio of independent expenditures. Uh, they're running $2.8 million worth. The Democratic National Committee is a million of that was funded directly by John Kerry and Ted Kennedy. And obviously they're concerned about this race. But I wish all of these ads would come down. And if I'm elected to the United States Senate, I really want to focus on how these campaigns are affected by outside groups that have nothing whatsoever to do with Tennessee voters. So much of the election nationwide has turned on such issues as terrorism, the war in Iraq, the economy. And yet here in the final days, the debate seems to have turned towards values. Talk a little bit about Tennessee and how that, ref and how that it will be reflected in the outcome. You know, uh, this is a state uh, that, that has a, a tradition of great values. We've had a tradition of having senators who represent those, everybody from Howard Baker to Bill Brock to Fred Thompson to Lamar Alexander and Bill Frist. And so there's just a tradition here of having United States senators who bring the best out in people around them and raise their level of thinking and the way people feel about each other. And I plan on doing the same if elected to the United States Senate. I've tried to carry out my campaign in that manner, certainly faith and family values are a big part of uh, Tennesseans and how they feel about themselves and they want officials that they think reflect those. Now, and I'm just going to give you one more opportunity on this. Uh, Mr. Ford rarely points, or never misses an opportunity to point out that he supports, in his view, uh, life, that he is uh, against gay marriage, that he uh, is a conservative Democrat. 
and he's one who seems to be making ground in a red state. Well, I, you know, I kind of feel badly for Mr. Ford because he has to wake up every day being something that he's not. His record uh, is very, very different than what you just said. He's voted uh, 11 times for federal funding of abortion. So to say that he's uh, pro-life is obviously a huge stretch, and I think the voters of this state know this, and I think they know that about a number of things he talks about. He votes against tax cuts. He's against the death tax. He's against uh, getting rid of the marriage penalty deduction he's you know he just doesn't represent Tennessee values and in this race he's having to run as somebody that he's not I think that's what's led to some of the confusion lately and some of the things that have happened in this race Mayor Corker thank you very much for joining us appreciate that as we send it back to the studio just an observation you see Democrats across the country trying to nationalize this race talking about Iraq and the economy at a very national broad landscape you hear Republicans going for one-on-one -on -one contrasts values and on issues arguing that they are much more in keeping with the voting public in each of their states and congressional districts whereas Democrats are talking about a national issue where President Bush is not on the on the on the ballot anywhere in the country we'll send it back to you Chief Political Correspondent Carl Cameron live in Nashville. Carl, thanks very much. And tomorrow and all next week, Studio B coming to a town near you. Shepard Smith making stops in Escondido, California.